So you're gonna. Not a bad haul that for what just under two hours. Right, we're now back at home. If I was pan frying these fish, I would scale them uh, like I did to the bass. In fact, I can show you what I'll do first. I'll fillet one. So, fins. Fins, back of the knife. Take the Take the scales off. Yeah. Scales off. Rinse. Rinse the scales. And then the fillet will go down to the backbone. A bit like a mackerel with these small ones. Turn your knife sideways and straight along the backbone. Don't worry about the guts and then go in here and down like that. And there you have a little bream fillet scaled and that you can pan fry. However today I'm going to take the skin off. So take the skin off. Take the skin off you go in and then just gently almost peel the skin towards you rather than the knife. Like that. Skin comes off and you're left with you're left with a skinless fillet. I cut down each side of the pin bones and then you're left with a couple of pieces of meat that I'm going to put in some batter. Same on this side. So I'm not going to scale. I'm not going to scale these because I'm going to be skinning them so that can go whole into there. So under, under this, under the stomach cavity, cut that. And gently just angle the knife down and slide through. Skin comes off and then either side of these pin bones down like that and down like that.
So now the kitchen, I'm going to heat this sunflower oil. While I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm just going to dry these fish around. Just drying these, just dry these pieces of fish off. Checking for any, checking for any bones as well. Feel pretty good. Right, it's looking good. All you need is some salt freezing flour and a bowl to put in about that much flour, don't know how much that weighs and then I'm just going to put some water in there and then I'm going to put some salt and I'm going to put it. I'm going to whisk that for the uh, tempura batter you want it quite thin and you want it dripping off the off the whisk like that, you want it thin like that then what we need more soft raisin flour in a in a dish Put the fish and the flour in the batter. So this oil is nice and hot already. Put it back on the heat and then we're going to put our fish into it. So fishies, get a piece. In fact we're going to get half the pieces. And cover them, cover them in flour. Same self raising flour that we've used for the tempura batter mixture. Okay, once they're coated with flour, into the batter like that. And then I'm not going to use my fingers, we're going to use a spoon. Just to coat, coat all your pieces. I mean, if you like getting your fingers messy, then by all means use your fingers. But it's not. I'd rather I'd rather the spoon do the work for us. Once they're all nicely coated, like that. I'm going to pop these into the oil. Off we go. Okay, when they're golden brown. Take them out, get off the heat. It's been more than a couple of minutes, we have five minutes for these, just until the batter goes a little bit brown. Okay. Here's a little trick. So we've got leftover batter, we've got leftover flour. Pour the flour, pour the flour into the batter. This is just self-raising flour and water, remember? A bit more flour maybe. And then get your spoon and 
give it a stir and we want to make we want to turn this now into a bit of dough so this is the batter and we're gonna turn this into a dough you can use a food processor if you want but a good old-fashioned spoon usually does the job rather than some expensive you know kitchen aid or magi mixer or magi something or other or you know good old spoon and a little bit of elbow grease usually goes quite a long way This is just using up the batter you have left. So you're gonna. Right, now you get your hands in. Now that you're not gonna get your hands covered in dough mixture. I'm gonna roll it pretty thin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a frying pan on the heat, get that really hot. I want to get this bread about the same size as the base of the frying pan, a bit like that. Okay, once your pan's hot, pop that in there, let that cook off. This is into a pan with no oil, just as it is. Okay, while that's cooking, get one of them and get some of that. So what we got, we've now got bread and we're going to put some yoghurt then we're going to put some red onion Put a rocket, and then we're going to put our fish pieces. Look at that.
Tell me that's not good. Flour and water for that and for that. And for that. Same, same thing. If you want more catching fish, if you want more cooking, if you want more boating, if you want more scenery, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And give the give the video a like as well. Thumbs up. See you next time.